We are here as a community. Uh, we are very concerned about what happened last week on the 8th of June uh, on behalf of our leaders, which is the first alcalde, second alcalde, and the, and the village chairman. Um, the police arrived, you know, uh, suddenly, and they just came and, and they asked for the village leaders, and and and, and they and they get to them, and, and they took them for questioning because of they receive a, 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 a phone call that the village leaders went to the Guatemala border illegally to sell cacao. So, um, but then our very concern as a community, if you notice here, if you look around, we have the village people coming here to show their support in, 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 in not happy of what happens uh, to our village leaders. And this is not the first time. So that's why we are here uh, concerning. We are appealing to the police department in Punta Gorda. We want them to come to us. We're appealing to them that they should come and tell us the fact of what happened, what is the investigation about. Because then what happened is when these leaders were detained, they were taken to, to Punta Gorda, not knowing that they will be put in, in put put into the quarantine center. All the while they thought that they would be taken to police station for questioning, but nothing like that happened. Leaders need to be compensated because they are innocent people, you know. These police are just trying to harass our leaders, which is not properly investigated in a way. And this is what we are trying to show here to the nation and to the, to the people who are, are listening to us at this very moment. And I hope that we want justice, we want to appeal to the entire nation and to the government of Belize and to the authority whosoever in power, but we want to share that we will continue to, to strike as well. And we stand in solidarity to support our village leaders as a community, as a whole. We make report to the uh, uh, My Leaders Alliance and they, they give them a helping hand. They, they were concerned al also and, and, they, and they gave us a helping hand in regards of these people should be released because, because it's, a false, it's a false report. So, uh, so, uh, but then, but then, up to now, we haven't heard anything, as I mentioned earlier, to, to in regards of, of, of the of the authorities of of, of, of what what is the next step, and that's where we are very concerned. And also, I just I just don't want to forget that, and I want to mention this to the public or to the police officers or whosoever is in charge of Punta Gorda Police Station, that we want to help we want to we want to help these police responsible for this family. If, if anything happens to this family, we, we, we're going to hold them responsible for, for them. If any disease, if, if, any, if, they, if they find positive, let's say, they will, we, have to, we have to hold them responsible for their expenses, for their families, and, and whatsoever need to be covered in, if, if anything happens. Mm -hmm.